Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Thazid. I am from Bihar, India. I am a hotel management student. I want to know that while offering prayer in tashahud, is only pointing forefinger is enough or should I have to move the forefinger up and down? The second question is where should I look in prayer during ruku and tashahud? The question asked by Muhammad Sazid is that in tashahud, when you are praying the is pointing the finger sufficient, the forefinger is talking about, or is moving it up and down a requirement? And where should I look while I am in the tashahud? Or when I am in the ruku, where should I look? As far as pointing the finger is concerned, pointing the forefinger, all the scholars say, is there. But as far as moving the finger is concerned, there are difference of opinion and there is different ishtihad. As far as the Hanafi school of thought is concerned, in the Tayyad, when we say Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, when you say La, they normally have to raise the finger that there is no God. And when they say illa Allah except Allah, they bring it down. So in the Hanafi school of thought, Imam Abu Hanifa, his ishtihad was that in the Attayat, in the Tashahud, when you say Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, when you say La, there is no God, you raise the finger. And when you say except Allah, illa Allah, you bring it down. So in, in Attayat, Ashhadu, they bring it up and they bring it down. As far as Imam Shafi is concerned, the Shafi school of thought, they raise the finger when they say illa Allah, except Allah, and they keep it raised till the end of the Shahad. As far as the Maliki school of thought is concerned, Imam Malik, they move the finger left to right. As far as Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, or the humbly school of thought is concerned, they raise the finger during the dua. And Atayat is the full dua. So as far as pointing the finger is concerned, there is unanimous agreement that the forefinger should be pointed and there are various hadith on that. As far as Sheikh Nasrud al-Mani is concerned, he says that regarding whatever these four schools of thought say, there is no evidence in any of the say hadith regarding when the finger should be raised and when it should be got down, whether it should be left or right. He says the closest is Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal that you raise it for dua. Regarding the other schools of thought, there is no evidence. And there are various hadith talking about raising the finger. There are various say hadith. And there are hadith in Sunan Nisai, in, Ahmed, in uh, uh, Muslim Ahmad, in Bukhari, in Muslim about raising the forefinger. And all these hadith say that the Prophet raised the forefinger or the finger closest to the thumb. There's a hadith in Musnad Ahmad, also in Sunan Nisai, which is authenticated by Nasr al-Bani as a Sai hadith in Sunan Nisai, where it describes the Salah in detail. The Prophet stood and he kept his uh, right hand on the left hand and it covered the wrist and the hand and the forearm in detail, went in Ruku, went in Sujud. When it comes to Tashahud, I'm not completing the full hadith, it's a long hadith, that he placed his left hand over his left thigh and he placed his right hand over the right thigh and he made a ring from the middle finger and the thumb. His middle finger and the thumb, he turned it into a ring like this. It's a Sahih Hadith. And he pointed with his forefinger. Another Hadith says he pointed with his index finger. Another Hadith says he pointed with the finger closest to the thumb. There are various say, hadith which talks about pointing of the finger, so there is no doubt about it. This hadith also says he pointed the finger during dua. There are various hadith and when I was studying hadith, one of my first ustad or teacher in hadith was Dr. Sheikh Zairaman Azmi, Mellagran in Jannah, he expired two years ago, he was the dean of the Hadith department in Medina and I studied Hadith with him of Bhattanajad 
it was private classes. He exclusively had time to me and we studied for about a month. And he had said that there are various say hadith in saying that the index finger should be raised during dua. And as Nasrul by rightly said that all the hadith say that during dua the finger is raised. There are various say hadith. There is one say hadith which says that during every dua the finger should be raised. So if you are doing a dua, it should be raised. And there is one hadith which says that the forefinger to the shaitan is like an iron rod. So there is one hadith which does describe about keeping on raising the finger up and down. So amongst, if you, if you analyze all the say hadith, the opinion of Imam Ibn Hanbal is the best that during the full attayat, the forefinger should be raised. That is the right opinion. And there are also hadith saying that the, the finger can be moved up and down. But according to the Arab Manaz, mean there are various hadith saying it should be raised during dua. So there are two opinions in the humbly school of thought. The only raising it for the full dua is one opinion. And another opinion is that, that you can move it up and down. Both are correct. But there are more hadith talking about that the finger should be raised throughout attayat. So, but if you follow any of the four schools of thought, because they are a great ammas, these are small issues. But if you want to be closer to Quran and Sunnah, then raise your finger during the full tashahud. And there are hadith also saying that you can move it up and down. But only, only raising it for the full attayat, there are various hadith. And one hadith does talk about shaking also, both are acceptable. Regarding a second question, that where should a person look in the ruku and where should his eyes focus in the tashahud? The scholars are unanimous that the best place, according to Sheikh Utaymin, Bin Baz, and Nasr al Albani, the best place that a person should look during salah while he's standing on ruku is at the place of his prostration. So, where he prostrates, he should look. So, if he's standing, in the Qiyam, he should look at the place of prostration. When he is doing his Ruku, he should look at the place of prostration. When Sujood, he should look at the place of prostration. But while he is in Tashahud, or in between the two Sujood, there is a Hadith, which, which is a Sai Hadith, which says that the Prophet looked at the forefinger. The index finger which was raised. So the scholars say that while sitting in the Tashahud, or in between the two sujood, at that time it is encouraged to look at your forefinger. But by standing and in ruku, it is encouraged to look at the place of sujood. But in tashahud and in between the two, the two sujood, you should look at the forefinger or some scholars even looking at your right hand it's permitted. Hope that answers the question.